in the prior video, uh, we talked about the um, power of relationships um, and the power of relationships to influence us into new seasons. We use the scripture, Proverbs 13 and 20, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. And so we said what that saying is when we uh, walk among wise men, the way wise men think and, and speak and carry themselves will influence our thinking. And then out of that thinking, we will make wise decisions. And then the same is if we uh, get around fools. Fools are ignorant of the wisdom of God, ignorant of the word. Uh, and so the way they think and the way they carry themselves will influence our thinking. And then out of that thinking, we will make certain dis foolish decisions, uh, decisions that are ignorant of the word of God, lacking the wisdom and the direction of the word of God that will ultimately destroy our lives. So what we began to say was that since relationships influence us, what God does then is when he wants to shift us many times into new seasons, into new things, God will begin to bring us into certain relationships. He will begin to make um, what I call divine connections. We'll begin to make divine connections uh, because God knows relationships influence us. And so many times... When God's about to take us into a new season, he'll start hooking us up with new people. And these people uh, may not even be uh, people that, are, that, that we're supposed to be buddies with, be able to hang out with. One of the things you've got to learn is that uh, there's a difference between spiritual connections and uh, emotional connections. Um, uh, a spiritual connection is not somebody that you have to necessarily get along with, that you uh, need to be able to go to the movies with or joke around with. Uh, spiritual connections are not designed to necessarily uh, appease your flesh. They're designed to take you into deeper and greater things with God and into new seasons and, and to transition you. And so <clears throat> God will begin many times when he's about to bring us into new seasons, he'll start hooking us up with new people. And these people are designed to influence us into greater and, and deeper things. And uh, we released uh, something in the last video about um, getting healed so we don't of our brokenness so we don't isolate ourselves from people uh, and so we don't reject relationships when God's trying to use these relationships to advance us. Uh, one of the things I want to release about uh, relationships in this video is this. Excuse me. Uh, Many times, if God's going to use a relationship to influence you in a new season, what that means is he's going to bring people into your life um, that know something you don't know or are walking in an area that you are wanting to walk in. Now, for some, this is exciting. This is exciting, and they'll eagerly hook up with these people and go after these people and get around these people and allow these people to influence them into these things they're wanting to walk into. Um, but for some, this is an issue uh, because they're intimidated by somebody that knows something they don't know. And a lot of people don't like to be intimidated. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of people are insecure 
and uh, don't like to get around people that know something they don't know because uh, they have, um, yeah, that's the, that's the word, thank you, Holy Spirit, they have an inferiority complex. They don't want to feel inferior to anybody. And so they'd rather stay around their group where they're the smartest one, uh, oh, where there's nobody there to make them feel inferior, where there's nobody there to intimidate them, rather than to get around somebody that intimidates them, somebody that may uh, be uh, 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 superior to them in a certain area, just so they can learn from them and grow from them. And so, uh, God wants to use relationships, but if you're going to allow God to use relationships to bring you into new places and new seasons, because he's going to do it, folks. I mean, this is one of the ways it happens. I don't know how many times when God was ready to bring me to a new level of faith, to a new level of ministry, uh, open my eyes to new things, he got me around different people. Hallelujah. He got me around different people. And I know the enemy wanted me to stay isolated. He wanted me to stay mad at people and hurt at people and afraid of people and afraid of people hurting me. But man, I just had to put my faith in God and know that if man's not faithful, God's going to be faithful. And I had to get out there and hook up with people and know, man, they're, they're people. They're, they're human. They're going to fail. And I'm okay with that. But you know, I don't get my strength from them. I don't get my, they're not my source. God's my source. So they can fail and that's all right. I understand that. Hallelujah. They're, 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 they got human uh, qualities in them as, as well as me. My face in God. But whenever I got around them, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 it they, they would take my faith to another level. They would take my marriage to another level. And, and so God's going to do this. God's going to use relationships and, and bring you into relationships. And so you are going to have to quit being threatened by what other people know and what other people can do that maybe you can't do. And understand that this is an opportunity not to be threatened and feel inferior, but this is an opportunity to grow. This is an opportunity to submit myself to these people and allow them, their, their level of intelligence, their level of faith, their, their level of integrity to uh, influence me and encourage me in the things of God. Hallelujah. And take me to a new level. Hallelujah. Allow God to use relationships. Quit being threatened by people. And, and see uh, relationships with somebody that may know more than you. That may be stronger than you. As an opportunity to submit to their gift. Learn from their gift. And elevate yourself. And advance and grow in the kingdom of God.